Hello everyone, it's me again, Eway Box One, and I'm back again with another video. This is gonna be another tutorial. I originally was not gonna post this on YouTube, but um, as I was editing this video for Instagram, I realized I just had so much footage that I didn't want to waste. So here we are. So I'm gonna start off this look by putting lash glue on my eyebrows. So this is not a new technique I did not use, guys, at all. A lot of professional makeup artists, they use this technique to make the eyebrows stay in place, especially when you're doing um, the, I forgot the technical term, but it's a style of lash where it looks almost like wolf eyebrows, where it's super natural. They usually don't fill it in too much, but the hair is standing up. Sorry, that is my toenail rest room. It, it's going to be that from time to time throughout the video. I apologize. So next, I'm taking my P Louise and um, I'm just framing the bottom part of my eyebrows. I haven't filled the eyebrows in. I just put the glue on and I combed them out to make them all stand up. Um, it's going to help with filling it in later and it also gives it a really nice clean look. You'll see it later on the video. So I'm taking the P Louise and um, I think a lot of people are still confused on how to use this product. So what I like to do is I take the product and I cover it evenly throughout my whole lid. And then I also drag it on to the bottom part of my inner corner. Also dragging it out to the outer part of, excuse me, I'm, I'm drinking a little wine right now. So... <laughs> I'm hiccuping. Um, um, I'm dragging it out. You see how I'm dragging it out to the brim of my nose and also patting it down where it goes past the outer corner of my of my eyelid. So you just make sure you're covering all your bases. So if you do have a look that is going to be smoked out a little bit more, you want to make sure that your pigment is even throughout the whole look because you don't want to have the your eyelid looking super smooth and pigmented and then you see kind of like blotchy parts when it starts to get dragged out so honestly this look i was i wasn't sure how it was going to turn out so i just went ahead and covered all my bases that's why it's dragged all the way out and i really didn't need to cover this much but you know so i'm doing it on the next eyebrow and as you can see i've had i i spread it and then I'm taking a fluffy, a large fluffy blending brush to pat it dry because I don't want to misplace the, the eyeshadow base. P. Louise absolutely is a game changer. If you are looking to take your make career onto the next level, this is just a sidebar, definitely invest in this eyeshadow base. It works way better than regular eye, eyeshadow primer. Um, it actually, it really does bring out the pigment in all, every single one of your eye um, eyeshadows. No matter the price, no matter what it is, it actually brings out the best potential of all of your eyeshadows. So, yes, you're going to get bang for your buck. You really don't even need that much of this base. So, next step. I took my NYX face setting powder. A lot of people use it to set their uh, contour. Um, I think Jackie Ivan used it to set her face, but they don't have it in my color to set my face. So I'm using it to set, to further set, and also bring just a tiny bit of color to my eyelid because I want this eyeshadow look to look pretty muted, except for the white liner on it so um doing that it looks it's crazy because this P. Louise base it's giving it an actual um more of a tan tone than it does when I actually set my clients uh concealer with it so I'm doing that and I'm using super light-handed strokes and uh also when you're doing your eyeshadow if you're one of the ones, I, always, I say this all the time in my older videos, but it's been a while since I did a makeup video, so I'll say it again. Use a light hand, please. Please, please, please. Do not go heavy on applying your eyeshadow 
anything that you do in your eye is a very delicate area anyway. So don't press hard. There's there's absolutely no eyeshadow look or technique that really requires you to be forceful in any way, shape, or form. So I'm just making sure I'm bringing that all the way up to the eyebrow and it's even. Boom. Okay, we got that done. So next step is I'm using this so sweet Sula Sula. I do not know how to say this name, but I got it off of Amazon and it's water activated eyeliner. This stuff is the bomb. Okay, so all these years I have been looking for a white eyeliner that does not give me um desert desert floor vibes like you know when the eyeliner starts to crack real bad and you start seeing cracks like very visible cracks when you know you're wearing it for like more than 30 minutes so the water activated eyeliners great investment investment sorry um investment Ooh, that's gonna drive me crazy if i didn't say that right and then um i also got the brush that i'm applying this with uh off of amazon i will have the information down below because I know there is a lot of people who are gatekeeping the brushes that they're using to do detailed eyeliner work and it is very upsetting trust me I had to search near and far mind you I had to do something super creepy and I paused a TikTok video and zoomed in just to see what this girl was using as a brush because she would absolutely not tell anybody what brush she was using to do the detail I don't look because all these all these small brushes do not act the same so this is what this one is amazing um, I'm not even mad at it um, it 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 gives you the line it gives you the precision that you need and it doesn't have like the sparse hairs and it's just loose enough to give you the flick the flick um, that you need at the end of it um, when you're doing your liner and also it's it's stiff enough so it's not too flimsy if that makes any sense um, I do not do these looks perfect because I am still trying to get comfortable using these brushes so I just use just a tiny bit of the P. Louise base because it is a pretty pretty close to the color of um, the lid that I have to clean it up that's all I did to clean up a little bit now I am using um, rhinestones. These rhinestones are actually for nails. Okay. I, I, I just don't see the difference. I don't see the difference in rhinestones. If I like it, I'm going to get it. Okay. A rhinestone's a rhinestone to me. So I go to my local hair supply store and I buy nail rhinestones, girl. I go to that small nail section. And if they have any new colors, I'll be getting it. And this time they had a whole bunch of silver ones. So I use those. And the trick that I do now is I will take the my eyelash glue and directly put it on wherever I want it at. And then I take a lipstick applicator and I wet it. And then that's how I'm picking up the rhinestones and then placing it onto my eye. Sometimes I do have to like readjust the rhinestone on the lipstick applicator just so I can have the right angle so when I place it on my eye, it's placed perfectly. So as you can see, I'm eyeballing the distance between each rhinestone and it is time consuming to do the rhinestone placement, this kind of detail work, but it's very much appreciated, okay? I mean like it... it this video does not do the look justice in person. It looks so pretty. Super simple. I got the lashes off of Amazon as well. Um, and I'm actually using a Maybelline eyebrow pencil to fill in my eyebrows. It's the first time I ever used it. A local makeup artist, she said that she loved it. So I was like, okay, I'll try it. So I like it. I like it. It didn't have the weird buildup that some eyebrow pencils have. And it went on pretty smooth. It rolled on gel like it's it's a good eyebrow pencil i'll have that down below for you as well so that part and also it's cost wherever we can save money that's what we're gonna do okay so i fill in the eyebrows with this they don't look like much right now but i promise you at the end they look amazing 
So I'm just going along the base of the eyebrow and then I'm just going over the eyebrows going in the in the same direction of where my eyebrows are going. See how they're all sticking up? So I'm going upward. So what you want to do, whatever technique you're using, even if you're not putting the eyelash glue on your lashes to make them stand up like I'm doing, you always want to go with the grain of the hair. That always gives you better coverage when you're filling in your eyebrows. Always do that. So, boom, that's done. This look is turning out. I'm sorry I'm off camera. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm completely off camera in this in this part. This is this was not meant to be on video, but um, I didn't want to cut it out because I want you to see the process in real time. So um, yeah, it just turned out so nice. It turned out really really nice. I love it. I love it. This is a very this is a very very good buy. All the almost all the things I'm using on my eyes are new products. They're new cost efficient products, and they work amazingly. I highly recommend you putting these in your personal and professional kit. They will give you the the bandwidth you need to express more creativity. Uh, yeah, now I'm just waiting for this part to be over. Okay, so flat brush putting foundation to carve out the top part of my eyebrows. I am etching the top part out to begin, and then I actually put way too much foundation. I dipped too much in it, so that was my bad. And then I am just doing a sweeping motion to carve out the eyebrow, and then that's it. I honestly feel like the glue and the lash technique, um, if you don't have eyebrows, there's really no point for you to do it, because then you'll just leave the glue on the skin. But if you have um, unruly eyebrows or you just like the look of, you know, thick eyebrows looking um, very defined or kind of kind of wild at the top, this is, I mean, it's an amazing technique. But when I do it, it really honestly makes carving out the eyebrows so much easier. Also, my skin girl, baby girl. When I tell you my skin has been thriving, like I've been minding my business, which I have not. I'm not going to say you're lying to me. I have not been minding my business, girl. I be in everybody's tea nowadays because the internet's been internetted, okay? TikTok has been on a rampage to tell everybody business, and I have been watching every single video. So, but, um, you know, I, I, need to, <laughs> I need to calm down on that because <laughs> it's just getting ridiculous now. A lot of people are beating dead horses. So, um... Yeah, I'm just carving it out, making it real simple. This brush is a this old brush. It's an oldie but goodie. I, I can't tell you where I got it from. I'm not trying to get you like I'm. I literally don't remember because I've had this brush for so long. Before I move on to the foundation, I am buffing out the where I carved out the eyebrows. This part of the video is gonna get weird because I recorded the entire video with my camera vertically and not horizontal so that's why we have the weird screen flip and i can't um crop to fill this part this part of it because of the fact that you're not going to see the rest of the process fully so i'm using my real technique brush to do my foundation and i'm stepping and doing small swiping motions to spread it around um, what foundation did I use for this part? I think I mixed, I mixed some foundation. I'm, after I record this, I'm going to look to see the foundation I use because right now I'm exploring with different, with different foundation products. So I don't want to tell you wrong. The KVD foundation, that's my go-to, um, but it slips and slides a lot. The KVD, you know, the one that's like, um, that comes like this little compact and everybody was writing Rainbow because it's like super full coverage. Um, I, I love it because the color is amazing. But and however, you absolutely have to set the mess out of your face because that foundation moves, honey. That foundation will move. So I honestly just like it because, you know, it does make my skin look dewy. But yeah, I have to do setting spray 
and then I have to put powder, like I'll brush powder with a big brush, and then I'll, girl, why am I talking so much about something I'm not using on this video? Anyway, um, at this point, I'm doing, I'm doing my um, concealer, right? I'm using the NYX Born to Glow. Girl, let me tell you something. If it's not broke, don't, don't buy a new one, okay? Like, save your coins and the products that you love, keep them. Don't get caught up in the trends because the trends will have you broken. That's the two, baby girl. Like, make sure that you are utilizing the ones, the makeup products that are your go-tos. This is a go-to. This one right here will not let you down. If you're having a bad, if you're having a bad skin day, if you have a client that you're unsure about, make sure you bust out with the products that you're the most comfortable with every time. I don't care if it costs a hundred dollars or a hundred pennies. Okay? Use the products that you are most comfortable with. And um, me personally, I love this, absolutely love this foundation. Um, also, the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, 24-hour Camo Concealer, or is it 16-hour? It's 16-hour. Uh, that one, go-to, freaking amazing. Um, also, you don't, you don't have to do this placement with the concealer. I'm being extra, okay? If you're not going to take the time to carefully blend, do not do this much concealer, okay? Um, all right, back to the concealers I like. Okay, the this one, the Born to Glow in YX, uh, Elf, and then when I'm trying to get bougie with it, I use the Nude, the Nude brand, because that one is freaking amazing. But I'm balling on a budget, so I'm not going to use that for freaking video, because I'm going to take this makeup off in a little bit. So that one is amazing. That's my number one, actually, the Nude, the nude Stick one. And then um, NARS, you know NARS, is, she ain't going to do you wrong, girl. The NARS Radiant, pff, girl, forget about it. Forget about it. If you're trying to impress a client because, you know, she want to switch up on you and then go see another makeup artist, and when she comes back, you're trying to prove a point, you're like, oh, baby, I'm about to get into you. I'm about to make you regret ever going to that other girl. And then, you know, you put it on her like that, and then she's like, oh, my gosh, I will never stray again. Like, yeah, that's what you do to them. That's what you do to clients when they want to stray. And when they come back, you don't say nothing. You let the brush do the talking. You make sure that they will always break their back to come back and do your hair. Okay? So, pat, pat, pat. Make sure that you are blending out all them harsh edges. And you see how, how glowy that looks. I didn't do nothing but put on... I think it's like a Sephora. Yeah, I mix Sephora and my Morphe foundation. And that was the combination of foundation that you see. And then I use the NYX Born to Glow. And then, baby, my skin is popping. Um, this part, I am on my last leg with this cream contour that I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills. That's why I had to actually scoop it out because I was going to use the brush method where you take your brush and you dip it directly to the concealer and then you blast it out on your face that's actually what i wanted to do i'd rather do but i had to scoop it out of the bottle because 25 dollars for a cream stick are you kidding me that's half a tank of gas probably less a tank right now okay that's probably like three fourths a tank 24 oh mm -mm. I don't like it. I don't like it. So, I had to scoop it out. I'm going to keep scooping until there's nothing else to scoop. And I just went ahead and just dab it on and then I'm brushing it out. Also, sidebar. You see how high I am placing this concealer? So, they have that filter on TikTok where it tells you where to put your concealer. And everybody was tripping because they're just like, that is so high. I'm putting it on top of my cheekbone. When I tell you that technique works, it is not cap. We were doing it wrong. We were doing it wrong. I'm so upset. Like, all of us were doing it wrong. We were putting the concealer so low down. We're actually drooping our face. We're giving it a very low lift. When we, girl, our cheekbones could have been higher. 
Like, we could have been really looking like we got our work done, okay? The concealer be concealed now. So, do that. Put the concealer on top of your cheekbones. And then make sure you're using a brush, a blush brush or some type of fluffy brush to blast it out. Tap, because when you rub it, you're taking off makeup. So, you're going to have blotchy spots. So, just remember that. Next, I'm using the same Anastasia Cream Concealer to carve out my nose. And I make the line with a small foundation brush. This is a foundation brush that I'm using. It's just double-sided. And then I am doing each side, and I'm also framing out the bottom of my nose because I really do like to accentuate the button part of my nose. Um... Sometimes I even like to accentuate, you can't really see it, but I have a dimple on the bottom of my nose. Like there's like a line. Sometimes I accentuate that. Some people think that I got that surgically put in um, with, with money. <laughs> Baby girl, I'm broke. <laughs> I have no money to do just random stuff like that. That makes no sense. So after you do that, you're going to take a fluffy blending brush and you're going to precisely blend it out do not take the circles that you're making to blend it out too far out you're blending in small circles in a very small area tap blend tap blend it's going to take you a little while but go worth it and now i'm just blending in my blending in i'm sorry y'all Let me get the light together. Okay, so I am taking that eyebrow pencil and I am blending in my nose contour into the eyebrow. You did? You get me? You get me? You understand what I'm talking about? Like, I'm making sure all of it is looking like it goes into one another. Okay, it correlates. It correlates all together. Okay, now. I'm taking a triangle sponge and I'm applying the powder precisely on the bridge of my nose and underneath my eye. This is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I love this setting powder. You know, they be always they always sell out of the of the tinted one. So I had to settle for the translucent. Mind you, if I have to settle for the translucent, I'm getting the mini. I'm not paying full price for a powder that I don't prefer, okay? Born on a budget. Shop smarter, not harder. That's not a saying. Okay, so that little that little sponge I'm using is a must. Okay, I actually got it at my local beauty supply also. And um, y'all have to find a hood beauty supply, okay? They are really going to help you save a lot of money on your makeup needs because they have a lot of things that they sell on Amazon for like double the price. So this square um, applicator is, you get it two in a pack for $2.50. I got it for $2.50. So I that's, that's more than enough to get something for my personal kid and for my clients. So who can be mad at that? Because I'm not. Okay. So, and then it, it just helps with preciseness. You see how I was able to... Um, have very little fallout because I'm going to waste my power. Very little fallout and I'm able to get it all like directly in between my eyebrows without actually touching the eyebrow. I'm able to take it down the, the center of my nose precisely on the points where I want it to be highlighted. So I'm setting the parts that I want to be highlighted with the translucent powder and then I'm going to go back with base powder or contour powder to set the darker parts because I want them I want that pigment to stay I want this face to I want my face to face like you're not going to sit here and tell me my makeup ain't beat after this like people are going to know I have on makeup that's the whole point of me going in you're going to know I have on good makeup I'm not trying to look uber natural because who has white on their eyelids come on make it make sense so I just do that, um, making sure the highlighted parts stay highlighted and nothing is falling into the wrong area of the 
face. I'm defining the cheekbone and going above your ear directly to your mouth corner does help. If you have already super high cheekbones, you do not need to do this. God already blessed you, okay? How does it feel to be loved that much? Okay, so um, blend it out. That's another, this is another big thing. Baby girl, if you're going to do all this, you're going to have to blend her. Bl blend, blend, because you don't want all the martial lines and people are just like, what happened? What's going on with your hands? Like people who don't understand makeup are really going to be upset. And people who do understand makeup are going to be like, oh, oh, she just spent that extra minute blending that out, baby girl. So make sure you're sitting there, you're taking your time to blend. I personally go in between a very um, loose, not, not not loose, but like a, a blush brush that's not dense. And then I like to go back in with a more denser one. The less denser one helps me kick off all the excess excess powder that I don't need. And then the more this one, the more denser one, helps me blend out the harsher lines. So I go back and forth with that. Some people feel like that's a little excessive, but I feel like if you want to do a look, do every step that gives you the details that you notice. It's not about everybody else. You're doing this for you, mind you. <laughs> if you're doing this much work on your face, you are clearly doing it for you. You're clearly doing it because you love makeup. You like putting yourself in it. So I'm putting a white liner. This line is from ColourPop. It's a dual sided liner. I really love this. I really like their little dual sided liner. It's really cute. So anyway, the look is finished. I didn't record this part, but because hello, I wasn't planning to put this on the internet. But, bro, like, I added some lashes at the bottom. Add, let me know if y'all want to see a video on that. And then I just add a little lip gloss. Then the look is done. The look is done. The only thing I do have to say is the white liner and the lashes at the bottom do make my face look a little more aggressive. But I do not care because I like this look. I like my face looking just a little aggressive. I do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.